back at Bristol Motor Speedway, and just a second ago, Darrell Waltrip, Kmart Ford, slid up across the racetrack and had contact with the concrete. So the winningest driver in Bristol Motor Speedway history, making his final stop here on his home track in Bristol, has a tough beginning. He's just trying to get the car down off the banking. Doesn't look to be that heavily damaged, though. Some sheet metal in the left rear, possibly. Yeah, it's still rolling pretty good, but there is some damage, as you said, on the left rear. There, so we'll be headed to the pits here pretty shortly. <laughs> Let's see if we can see what might have happened to DW going down the corner. There we see Mark Martin's on the inside, about to pass, I guess put a lap on DW, go down the corner. I guess DW didn't realize he was there. He comes down, they make contact. And Darrell backs with the fence, and Mark continues on. A different angle this time looking down at Daryl Walter left side of your screen it doesn't take much no it doesn't just a, a little bit of a tap going into the turn and that's what got the left rear damage to his car it's got into the wall and Ward Burton is on pit road in front of you John Ward Burton's off sequence with the other leaders Rusty Wallace and Jeff Gordon goes so they decided to come on in take on four tires the car is still a little bit too tight off the turn so they made a win a very good pit stop for Ward Burton. Tommy Baldwin and company getting the Caterpillar car on and off pit road. They pit it on lap 30, now here on lap 92. They're the only, well, Bobby Hillman actually was in and Kevin LePage. And Bobby Labonte, our points leader, is in front of you right on left. Car's still a little bit tight, Jerry, so they're going to keep their eye on the pace car here. They want to change four tires, but they may do just right side to go back out and then come back. No, they have time, so they decide to go for four. Bobby Labonte saying not sure what to do to the car. Jeff Burton is down and away as they went down about a half a pound of air pressure on both right now. Bobby Labonte now down and back to action. And it looked like they may have held the 77 car of Robert Presley, who was in the pits a moment ago. The NASCAR official stood in front of him. Now they're talking to the crew down on pit road. you got to wonder if they were holding him. Was he outside his pit box? I don't know. Here's our crew cam on the nine car. Jason Pulver, the tire changer. Mark Smith, those are the tire carrier. Those are the tire owners. Jason got it up. Oh, he can only change right sides because the pace car was up in three and four. Couldn't take a chance on getting going a lap down. And he has come back in since then and did uh, change the left side tires. Bill Weber, what happened to Robert Presley? You're right on, Jerry. He did pit outside of his pit box and was held by NASCAR. They, we saw this last night. This never should have happened to Presley. There were only two cars on pit road. Under caution here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. So far, it's been the Rusty Wallace Show. Gordon second, Stuart third. Back in a moment. Step of the green flag after the third caution flag of the evening when Darrell Waltrip spun on lap 91. Comes up, green flag. Rusty Wallace has led 83 of the 96 laps so far. It's been the Rusty Show here in Bristol, Tennessee. Rusty, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Mark Martin, the top four. Ooh, Ford Burton and Dale Jarrett get together going into turn one. 75 car has spun and caution flag is out. Well, caution coming out for the fourth time tonight, now on lap 98. Somewhat of a replay of what happened to Dale Jarrett a year ago. He was involved in a spin about lap 80. This time he's able to spin and continue on his way. The 75 car involved, spinning to try to avoid the two. Let's show you what happened just a moment ago up between turns one and two. Ward Burton has on fresh tires. He came into the pits, remember, and hit down into turn one. And let's see, looks like, well, I don't know if there's any contact or not. It was really hard to tell, but neither of them hit anything. Jeff Burton goes down below on the inside of the apron to miss those two, and right behind where these two spawn is where Wally Dollenbach spawned a moment ago to avoid this. Now Jeff Burton's on board camera. And there we see both those cars go, oh, man. It looked like Jeff had his brother just nailed. But he turned her left. Ward Burton. I guess Ward got hit from the back by Kevin LePage. Oh. Apparently.
with the 88 spawn. Ward checks up, gets hit from behind by LePage. He spins, and then Jeff Burton goes below him, and then Dollenbach spins to avoid him. So maybe DJ just got in the corner, and the car just popped sideways on him. Hard to say. Well, they pitted just about uh, nine laps ago, so I doubt we'll see any pit stops here as we work caution for the fourth time tonight. We approach the 100-lap mark here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Exciting NASCAR Winston Cup action. 